Oh, okay. I just want to talk to you about a, um, a German guy. Um, he, his aim, he's a pharaoh, and his aim is to, uh, to put up the people against each other, as they always do. It's not only the Europeans, or the Germans in this case, and the foreigners standing against each other, well, not always, but there's a third party, the enemy within, who always wants to divide and rule and put the people up against each other. So this name is uh, uh, Zaratin Tilo. It's a very uncommon name for a German. And the Saracens, they were Muslims, actually. So this guy, you know, his ancestors are even Muslims. But before they were Muslims, uh, this name is pure Pharaonic. The word Sa, it means the king or the queen, like in the sarcophagus, the box to put the king in. Or like in Caesar, the king of Rome. Well, look the Pharaoh's show and you'll find it. Ra is the sun god, like Amun-Ra. And Sin, I find this hard to translate in Pharaonic. Uh, I think it means brother, like the sun. It means sun. S-A-N, it means brother. You can see that underneath. And uh, like the Bushmen in, um, uh, in South Africa, they call each other sun as well. Yeah, well, the pharaohs were all over Africa before, eh? They called themselves brother, San. So, but there's another word, it's, uh, it's called Sine. Yeah? Like in Zaratin, it means to pass, like uh, chronologically. But I think it, it has to be sun here. So that means king, uh, the sun, god, and uh, uh, brother. So that means... The king and the sun god are brothers. That's what the name Saratin means in Pharaonic. And if the king and the sun god are brothers, so Saratin, he's the sun king, like Louis XIV, he's the sun king. That's what it means. So this guy is the enemy within. And of course, I can understand the Germans, you know, but I'm a foreigner myself, so it's quite hard, you know, to. Well, I can understand them, you know, because, um, well, their country is gone. So this sly Zerazin, the enemy within, and Pharaoh, and Freemason, of course, um, he finds very sly words, which, which have already been planned, like, uh, uh, before the first immigrant ever... puts his fate on, uh, on, on German soil. Even before the Second World War, these words were made. And, um, yeah, well, this is what they always do. And the guy looks very, very much like Himmler. He's got one eye closed. He's really the Dajjal with one eye. So, uh, dear Germans, um, don't fight the immigrants fight the enemy within because otherwise you're gonna lose and dear Turkish people and immigrants as I myself um, fight the enemy within and understand it that that exists you know this is the Dajjal Mr. Zaratin look at his eye he's always he's got one eye closed he, he looks like Mr. Himmler the head of the the German or oh, between brackets German SS um, yeah, well, I show you a picture of Mr. Zarazin. Uh, well, there he is, Mr. Himmler II. Well, he is the same family, he's got the same genetics. I'll bet he has, you know. And of course, Mr. Himmler, he didn't die, you know, he lived on a long time. And this is, uh, he, well, that was his ancestor. I mean, look at him. And this, this is not just... He's not, he's not just twinking his eye. Uh, he's always looking like this. This is Himmler. You, you know, imagine him in a, in, a, in, a, in a black SS suit and another moustache. Well, this is Himmler. Same glasses. And, um, well, I mean, these are the pharaohs. And they invited the immigrants. And they made the war with Russia. And all the other wars. 
They play the peoples out against each other and then they take all the power. So please wake up and um, don't fight among, among each other. That's what Jesus said. Don't, for, don't kill your neighbor. Don't kill your brother. Because that's what the enemy within wants. Right? Okay. Say bye bye Mr. Hit, Mr. Himmler. Well, it almost sounds like Hitler. Yeah? Why well, was one of them? Bye bye, Mr. Himmler. So this guy is not German and he's not a nationalist. Nationalist. He's fighting for his own uh, goals. The goals of the enemy within, the goals of the pharaohs on and of the Freemasons. So this guy is not a nationalist, he's not European. You know, they only want to play people out against each other. Bye bye Mr. Himmler. Forever, we hope. <laughs>